Good morning friends, welcome back to Moorabbin Airport. Well it's been about three months in the making, training with my flight instructor, working with the engineering team, all the preparation basically to get myself, Kilo Juliet November, and hopefully you guys ready for our big trip to Outback Australia. <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you've come here for this series and a really quick 10 second introduction my name's Stefan I'm a private pilot been flying here in Australia for about 12 years I fly a Cirrus SR22 this is Kilo Juliet November you'll hear me refer to that quite a lot and yeah for the next two weeks I'm gonna be basically giving you as much behind the scenes access as I can to the planning the flying the problems we may face and all the places that I'm going to be going to as I make my way from Melbourne all the way to Western Australia up to the top and back down to Melbourne. It's going to be an epic trip. I'm really glad you're sharing it with me. I've got a flight plan departing at 9 o'clock. It's 8.35 local. So all we need to do is jump on board, get Kilo Juliet November tested, started and yeah, let's head off to South Australia. All right, temperature pressures are good, static RPM is good, airspeed's alive on both, 70 knots. Oh, up we go. Bye, Moravin. Any light off caps is available, make our turn. Kilo Julie, November, just to avoid the weather ahead, can we go back down to 4,000? I'll call again when we want to go back up. Kilo Julie, November, no worries, uh, Simon. Kilo Julie, November, leave control, we are descending, no traffic to 4,000, and contact me, uh, 132455 now. Descend 4,000, 13255, Kilo Julie, November. November, 13355. 13355, Kilo Julie, November. Outside air temperature is one degree. And I've got a bit of a clicking on the line, which I'm going to try and sort out. I'm sorry if that's uh, affecting the audio a little bit. Uh, just going through some checks to see what that is, but I need to get out of Melbourne first and focus on that, and then I'll look at the audio. Melbourne Basin and heading out should be a lot nicer ahead of us. Uh, we're going to climb up to 6,000 after we get past some cloud here just because of the freezing levels are quite low here at the moment. But I don't want to go into cloud where the temperature can drop a bit quicker than normal and also if the aircraft itself is cold and we go into some cloud I don't want to pick up any icing. Even though it would be very moderate I don't really want to muck about with icing. Cloud surfing. Oh, cool. And I think it looks like we're leaving some of the cloud behind. You can probably just see a little bit on the leading edge of the wing down there. We did pick up a, just a little bit of light icing. Very, very light. Sorry, Bob. Uh, copied 6,000 earlier, confirming, maintaining now 7,000. Right, busy on the radio today. Yeah, I was just saying, picked up some light icing on the front of the wing uh, just as we were going through that cloud. It was about minus four outside. Um, a bit, just a very, very thin layer of cloud, and I knew we were going to be through it in a minute or two, but I was watching the wings, making sure that there weren't any excessive build-ups. We could descend 
if we needed to as well, because I knew that we could get out the cloud below. But I do take icing really seriously. It's not something you want to mess around with in a small aircraft like this. I'll talk a little bit more on this trip about IFR and the reasons why I do and don't like flying through cloud. But right now, just coming out of Melbourne, I was very conscious of freezing level, and that's why I went up to six, noticed it was quite cold there, came back down to four, stayed at four, but now we've come back up to 6,000 feet again because it's a lot warmer outside. In fact, it's just gone up to two degrees on the outside air temperature. So I reckon from here all the way for the rest of the day, shouldn't have any troubles with freezing levels. Kilo Juliet November, request traffic for descent 2000. Kilo Juliet November, no reported IFR traffic. Kilo Juliet November. Reporting a traffic, IFR Cirrus Kilo Juliet November is 15 miles to the east. Inbound 2,900, uh, estimate overflying the circuit time 2-2, two -two. holding. Okay, backtracking, let's go get some fuel and have a quick break, have a quick drink. Oh, wow, that wind's picked up quite a lot actually. Was it that windy when we were landing? I don't think so. Anyway, I've just got to move the plane and then we're going to go get a coffee. Alright, KJN's got some fuel. I'm just going to leave it there for a second and go and have a look inside here at the airport at Aldinger. Like I say, I've never been here before, but apparently, apparently the baked goods and coffee is very good. So let's go check it out. Thank you, it's nice to be here. Just finished, uh, probably, actually that was probably one of the nicest chocolate brownies I think I've had for a long time and a delicious cup of coffee here at Aldinger. Thank you very much to Ian who bought that for me. You're now, welcome. Ian um, and I have been chatting online for a little while in the past because Ian's also a pilot. He does quite a lot of filming on YouTube. Well, the YouTube channel really is, is a record of every one of my, virtually every one of my student pilots, all recreational aviation pilots. And it seemed to me that one of the hardest parts of teaching somebody is that you have an hour lesson and you go away and you've got another week before the next one. So most of my students get a, an upload, uh, normally two or three hours a week goes up and they're available to everybody, but in the main they're for my students. So my channel is uh, Biggles Aviator, it's on YouTube, and uh, there you'll find 150 different lessons. So I'd love everyone to sign up and, and, and watch. Yeah, definitely, no, check it out. So Biggles Aviation. Biggles Aviator. Biggles, oh, sorry, Biggles right. Aviator. I should know, because I've watched it enough. So <laughs> Biggles Aviator, I'll put a link down below as well if you want to click on the link, check it out. Sure. Thank you for the cake, Ian. You're welcome. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah. Thanks very much. Take care. Uh, tractor on the runway. <laughs> Kilo G in November, departed time 02, we're climbing to 4,000, just passing 3,600, tracking uh, westerly, all dear. Uh, Kilo G in November, you're identified, verify level, the departure no longer required. Uh, Kilo G in November, now maintaining 4,000. Kilo G in November. Well, one thing I do have to admit I didn't do before we took off is I did not start the GoPro on the wing, so we're not going to get any footage from the GoPro wing on this leg. And it's not as if we're flying over like this really beautiful bit of water or anything, and we've got amazing views that I would be able to enjoy from that, so, you know. Although I think I think I can connect to it, I think I can connect to it on my phone, because I can pick up the Wi-Fi on the GoPro. Let me see if I can do that, just whilst we're trucking along. The Wi-Fi might be on, hang on a minute, this could be quite good. I think the Wi-Fi signal's on, on the camera. Ah, uh, look! I don't know whether you can see that. I can see the camera on the wing, hang on, here we go. If I press that, that should start recording! Oh, wireless on GoPros for the wing! That's the first bit of water that we're going over. 
that in itself was a little bit nerve-wracking. Well, even though we've got life jackets and we're well within the tolerances for we don't need a life raft uh, because of the distance and the time it takes us to get across. I'm carrying a life jacket just in case I need it. But the next bit of water is a slightly longer leg. And even in Kilo Juliet November with a ground speed of 165 knots, um, yeah, you're still always, you're a little bit more conscious, you're watching the engine a little bit more closely whenever you're flying over water, which we'll be doing again in a second. Beautiful, absolutely stunning, look at that. I just contacted Melbourne Centre, you can see we're just turning now at the moment because there are some showers ahead. So I just asked if I can get uh, about 10 miles left and right of our track. Are there any small showers? I'm actually going to descend as well, I think. Kilo Juliet November requests traffic for descent 6000. Kilo Juliet November, no reported IFR traffic for descent 6000. Kilo Juliet November. And what I'm going to do as well is just get the mixture in because I don't really want to fly into this. So we go altitude, 6,000, let's get us down relatively steeply. And you can already feel a little bit more turbulence just as we come under here. Now these aren't very big showers. But uh, as we're looking out the front of the aircraft, the showers are going from left to right and the worst stuff is over to my right hand side. And I'm doing that on purpose because I don't want to be downwind of the showers. I don't want them to basically be blown towards me. And it's coming down a little bit more, so I think I'm going to take us down even further. Kilo duty November request traffic descent 4000. Kilo Julia November, no report at night, March 4000. Kilo Julia November. Alright, let's get down even more. Fairly big cell, well, not a big cell, but a, a fairly decent sized rain shower out to our left, which I don't really want to get into. What that looks like here on uh, in uh, Amplan, which I'm using at the moment, you can see our aircraft here. And there's that large cell that you just saw out to the left-hand side. We just kind of picked our way through here, slightly lower down, a little bit bumpy, and there's a bit of rain on the windshield, but, you know, nothing too dramatic. We definitely didn't want to fly through that. And then we can put all that nasty stuff, all the storms and the showers behind us. And I've looked up the weather before. I know that the weather at Sejuna is going to be, it's like seven knots clear skies, so very light winds, very clear skies, and that should be the last of the weather that we have to deal with on this trip. Sejuna traffic, Kilo Duty in November, turning final runway 11, full stop, Sejuna. Sejuna traffic, Kilo Duty in November is backtracking at runway 11, Sejuna. That's an interesting one. I think we might have had a slight tailwind looking at that wind top on landing. That's why we floated a bit longer than I was expecting. Sejuna, we made it. That's pretty quiet here right now. Okay, let me just fuel up the aircraft and I'll park it around there and then um, work out how we're gonna get into town. That is a beautiful sunset here tonight over the Great Australian Bight. I've just had a wash back in the room so I feel a bit more human again, just had a shower. 
and doing some planning now. So I talked to you about what's happening tomorrow. The plan as it currently stands is I'm supposed to be, I'd originally planned to fly from Sejuna to Esperance on the south coast tomorrow. And then I was gonna go from Esperance to Perth the day after, but there's a big low pressure system coming in through Perth over the next couple of days. And it does seem like the closer to the coast you are, obviously the more moisture that's gonna be brought in. And so there's gonna be more low cloud, there's some thunderstorms coming in. I'm trying to see if there's a possibility that I can actually get to Perth tomorrow, which I'm not sure which I'll be able to do because of the storms that are coming in. But at very least, what I think I might do is I might change my plan and instead of flying to Esperance on the coast, I'll actually go inland through the Nullarbor, so across the desert, and end up in Kalgoorlie tomorrow night, which is a bit closer to Perth, and then I'll see if I can get from Kalgoorlie to Perth at some point on Wednesday. We'll see. So I'm gonna sit here now with an iPad, work out a bit of a plan for tomorrow's weather, watching the sun go down as well, which is pretty beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Tune in tomorrow, find out if I get to Esperance or Kalgoorlie or Perth or, or none of the three. If you enjoyed that, give us a like. I do appreciate it. It's good to know you're enjoying the content. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. Daily vlogs hopefully coming out for the next two weeks as I go around the outback. Otherwise, thank you as always for watching. It's great to have you along on the trip and I'll catch you tomorrow.